All new at 5.30, they fought, they were wounded, they served. Veterans were honored at Hazeldell Elementary School this afternoon. You can see right there, the recognition was a really big deal at that school. Students, parents, grandparents, even great-grandparents were honored. RTV6's Derek Thomas has the story. First graders wrote letters on the school office. This one says, we waved the flag for those who gave so we could be men who are free. One of the men who gave is 96-year-old Howard Kinley. He was a navigator on a B-17 during World War II. I flew 35 missions. That was the tour of duty. I flew my first mission uh, roughly November the 1st in 1943. His great-grandson, 10-year-old Jacob Schleter, was proud to have him at the tribute, but understands the recognition goes beyond his great-grandfather. Every school should have a day just for the veterans. Why? Because veterans save our lives like they went to Afghanistan or the Vietnam War. That realization by Jacob is shared by his classmate, Megan Colvin. Her brother has been in the Navy for a short time. He's on leave right now, but she wanted him to be at the ceremony, and he appreciates the love. Oh, my grandfather was in the Army. My dad was in the Army. Um, so Veterans Day was already a special thing in our family. So now that I actually get to be part of this in a different way and having my sisters celebrate it for me, it's... I don't know, it's, it's hard to explain. It's, it's a pride thing. It, it's very, very special. The children lifted their voices, and those voices lifted the veterans, especially those from the Vietnam era. I guess that was a bad time back then, and uh, they didn't recognize Vietnam very well, and we went. I was drafted, but I joined the Navy instead and went in, in the Seabees and, and did my part for the country, but we still weren't recognized. And today, I'm proud that they recognize the soldiers as much as they do. There are 23 million living American veterans. There are 100 here today. 100 proud to be here. Derek Thomas, RTV6. Not only did the school have this huge recognition ceremony today, teachers devoted classroom time to making sure students understood what Veterans Day really means. Very nice. And you can go to the RTV6 app and the IndyChannel.com and check out the photo gallery highlighting veterans from Indiana. Photos are a part of the Indiana State Museum's Heroes of the Heartland exhibit, which ends tomorrow. Veterans and active duty military personnel get in free.